I'm sorry that you have to change videos so often in this series, but I found in some of my older videos that if I make the video too long, perhaps 10 minutes long, the, uh, the video and the audio are not synced. So maybe I'm typing something, but the voice is, is totally different. So I have to make the videos quite short. I'm sorry about that. I also just want to remind you that, um, that here we're, we're just correcting grammar and, uh, and structure. So uh, if you're finding that you know, you're, you're watching this video and not quite understanding what the essay is about, uh, don't worry about that. We'll, after we finish correcting all the grammar, we'll come back and go through each paragraph again and just uh, look at how the sentence is linked together. Okay, so this is just a grammar thing to begin with in structure. Okay, here is the third paragraph. As funded home care services has fallen, the over 50s, 60s probably will not get paid care in the next few years. This is very apparent that the government will not have the money to pay for the health care services. It is obvious that the society will be affected. Okay, I'll give you a second to read that and try to find a problem. Okay, let's look at the corrected version together. As funded home care services has fallen, so this is services, should be have fallen, the over 50s, 60s probably will not get paid care in the next few years. And uh, I'd like to direct your attention to this uh, slash. The student has included 50s slash 60s. Now sometimes uh, in the courses that I teach, students will write essays and they'll use these kind of symbols, like an and symbol or a, a number sign. Uh, and this is not the best choice stylistically to include on your essay. Uh, lots of students include this and sign, this sign in the middle here. And um, it definitely will not win you marks on an exam, definitely not on an IELTS exam. So you want to avoid these things. Now here the student has used 50s slash 60s, and I think their meaning is just people that are over 50 and over 60. And I suppose you could say, as funded home care services have fallen, the over 50s and 60s. Uh, but I think that, uh, I guess both of those are just over 50, right? You don't have to say over 50 and over 60. You could just say over 50, because that's including everyone. So maybe what we could say is, as funded home care services have fallen, people aged 50 and over or the over 50s, I guess, uh, probably will not get paid care in the next few years. Probably will not get paid care. Uh, get paid care. I'm not quite sure if we want to say that. You might want to say receive paid care. I think that uh, the student is just saying that, um, that older people in the home, they're not really receiving uh, the care that they need because there's so many of them. So I think that maybe just a, a better way to phrase this would be uh, will not receive paid care. This is very apparent that the government will not have the money to pay. This is very apparent. That's not correct either. We want to say it is very apparent that the government will not have the money to pay for the health care services. Now, the health care services, well, we don't know. Are we talking about baby health care services? No, we're talking about the old people. So we have to use these, these health care services, or pay for, uh, yeah, the best choice would be these. So the government will not have to pay, not have the money to pay for these health care services. And then the student here is linking back to uh, the idea they brought up in the sentence before. It is obvious that the society will be affected. Okay, now structurally, the paragraph is also weak, and uh, you may see why, but one thing is just that uh, that uh, it's, it's short. There's only three sentences here, and uh, I think that the, uh, and the topic sentence are kind of really closely linked together. So it might be an idea to just kind of separate them, maybe make one topic sentence and then, uh, you know, make a separate, com completely separate 
uh, example sentence, and then not only that, that'll make the uh, the essay um, uh, this paragraph a little bit longer.